30. Oh, I got 30 more minutes of sleep. Sweet. Oh, I'm so late. I'm so late. Hi, guys. It's Jordan, and today we're my doggy. Hello, again from Vogue and the Adventure Dog. And today we are going to be telling you the 10 different types of people in the morning. So I came up with the top 10 different types of like stereotypes of people in the morning and we're gonna show you guys what they are and comment down below which type of person you are. Number one, the early riser. This is basically the morning person. This is the person who always like has no trouble waking up in the morning and they just get up and they're just like, oh, I'm ready to start my day. My day. I'm energized, I'm ready to go. And they just go ahead and get started. Uh, this is not me at all, I'm totally a night owl. Yes, I'm like 10 minutes before my alarm went off. I'm ready for the day! Everyone get up! I have so many things I could get done this morning. I could go to the gym. I could go pick flowers. I could call my friends. I can I can go shopping. I can go get all my groceries done. Boys! Boys, get up! It's morning time! Good morning, sweeties! We go! Hi, Ty Ty. <laughs> Come on, Ty Ty. Come on! It's morning time. Mom, Dad, wake up! It's morning time. It's time to get up. It's time to get up. It's time to get up. Let's go have some fun today. Come on, let's go. Come on, wake up. Let's go. It's Saturday. Let's go. You can sleep in. What is her deal? No, she's so loud. Johnny, it's time to wake up. So this is the person who wakes up and they immediately, like the first thing that they do in the morning is that they need their drink to wake them up. So like it could be like a soda or something. Some people they like choose coffee, but like it depends on the person. But usually they wake up and they have to start their morning out with their drink of choice. And don't even try to interact with them until they've drink in their drink. Mom, I need my hair done and where are my shoes? Just let me finish my drink first. Why? Not now. Oh. Can you help me fix my hair really fast? It's falling out and I need to go to school soon, Jordan. I just want to finish my drink first and then I'll help you. Mom, can you help me find my backpack? No. Just let me finish my drink and then I'll help you. Okay. What's with you kids? Why can't I just finish this in the morning and just have a little bit of time to wake up? Number three is the snoozer, and this is the person who sets like five different alarms because they know that they're just gonna press snooze on every single one because they really do not want to wake up, and so they're hoping that by pressing snooze they get a little bit more sleep, but sadly they just have to keep waking up to press snooze so it doesn't really work. <laughs> this person also, when they hit snooze, they try and justify reasons for it, so they're like, oh, if I press snooze, I just, I won't do my hair today, I'll just leave it the way it is, like just down or something. Oh, if I press snooze again, it's okay, I just won't need to, I'll shower later tonight or something. They'll make up excuses to press snooze each time. Also, this is kind of me a little bit, but. <laughs> I I snooze. One more, I can do one more. Oh, come on. <coughs> one more, I can do one more, I just won't shower. Number four is the afternoon riser. So this is the person who wakes up late in the afternoon. So they won't, they just, they sleep in until it's late in the afternoon and they won't get started on their day until the afternoon. What time is it? Eight o'clock, I'm going back to bed. Oh, it's only nine o'clock. We're good, I can go back to bed. <gasps> what time is it? 10.30? And we're fine. Is it now? 11.30. Oh, I got 30 more minutes of sleep. Sweet. Oh my goodness, it's 12. Okay, well, could sleep for another 30 minutes, but should probably get up. <sighs> Number five is the nest maker. So this is the person who basically lives in their bed. Like they store all of their candy, their soda, their homework, um, pretty much everything like is in their bed. So that way they don't have to leave the bed. They could just stay there 
and live their best life in the red. <laughs> Man, I should really get out of bed. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. I could really go with a snack. I really don't want to leave my bed though. I could always bring out this. Oh yeah, instant snacks. Number six is the pet owner, but this is the person who owns a pet and they have to wake up early in the morning to help take care of that pet and to feed them food, to let them outside to go potty and etc. And usually the pet comes and wakes them up and it's so cute and I wish Logan would come wake me up, but he doesn't. Why are you looking at me? Number seven is the gym heroes, and this is the person who wakes up and they want to work out in the morning. I don't understand these type of people. I could never, that is like so early. You'd have to wake up so early just to go to the gym and then go back home and get all showered and then you can start your day. I mean, I kinda understand it, but like, who gets up at 4.30 or five in the morning to work out? Not me. <laughs> 5 a.m., perfect. Time to go to the gym. This trying to work out. Gotta get that. Gotta get, feel the burn. Feel the burn. Number eight is the partially awake, and this is also me. <laughs> I'm just not a first morning person in general. So the partially awake um, is basically where they wake up. But throughout the entire day, they're just very tired. Like they don't feel like they got enough sleep and they just start like falling asleep throughout the day because they're just so tired and they just wanna go back to bed. And then usually at night, that's when they get their energy and they, then they can't go to bed. It's so annoying. <laughs> Maybe I should probably get up. Okay, let's do my makeup. Just a little bit of lipstick today so I look more awake. Oh my goodness, I need to go to school. Okay, let's go. I'm so tired. Oh my goodness! Ah! Ah! Uh, what do I do? Oh. I'm so tired. Ugh. Let's go. The next one is the latecomer, and this is the person who wants to squeeze in as much sleep as possible, and so then they don't wake up till the very last second that they have to leave, and usually this results in them being late to wherever they're going. So if they have to go to school, they're gonna be late because they want more sleep. What is it? Oh, what? I got a meeting. It's it's a video meeting conference meeting right now. I should change my shirt. Oh, this is perfect. I just gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh, I'm so late. I'm so late. Oh, oh no. The meeting started. The meeting started. How do I log in? Password. Password. Oh, it's in the email. It's in the email. Here we go. Um. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, traffic was horrible, but I made it. The very last one is the mama's boy, and this was totally me in elementary school. Nobody else can wake them up except for their mom. Their mom has to come in and be like, it's time to wake up. And so yeah, this I think this was like everyone in elementary school. They wouldn't, like kids in elementary school don't set alarms. They wait for their mom to come wake them up, right? Boys, morning time. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. Wake up. Get breakfast ready. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Ted, come on. Tyler, get up. Come on. I got your breakfast ready. It's getting soggy. Hurry, let's go. Hey, Ty. Hope you're not gonna up. You're gonna be late. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Let's get up and get up. You don't wanna be late. Hurry, you gotta go eat. Alright, so those were the 10 different types of stereotypes of morning people. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Turn the subscribe button from red to gray and comment down below which type of morning person are you? Because I want to know. I'm a mixture of like all the ones who aren't morning people. <laughs> We'll see you all next time. Bye.